morning right now, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is meeting with the president of the Palestinian Authority. One day after meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other leaders in the Jewish state. It comes as U.S. and U.K. forces shoot down the largest Houthi attack on international shipping in the Red Sea that we've seen so far. Trey Yingst, live in Israel at the very latest. Trey. Todd Carly, good morning. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken still in the region today, meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. It does come just a day after he met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the war cabinet, and also the families of those being held hostage currently inside Gaza. Blinken reportedly told Netanyahu to work harder to protect Gazan civilians and also discuss broader work to free the more than 100 hostages still being held. The secretary's visit does come as a new attack was launched overnight by Iran-backed Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. A U.S. official telling Fox News that the combined drone and missile attack was the largest to date to target the shipping lane. 18 drones were shot down during that incident by U.S. forces in what is the 26th Houthi attack since mid-November. We're also following confirmation this week by the U.S. Treasury that Iran has accessed some of its $10 billion unfrozen by waivers permitted by the Biden administration. Blinken did address this just last week. None of that money goes to the Iranian regime, and none of it goes to the mullahs. It is, it is, if it has been, if it has been allocated against, it would go to approved vendors that would purchase food, water, medicine, um, agricultural products. You heard there from the uh, National Security Council's John Kirby discussing what Iran will do with that money. The concern here, though, Todd and Carly, is that easing any sort of economic pressure on the Islamic Republic will allow them to funnel more funding and money to their proxies across the region. Todd, Carly? That's the issue, because money is fungible, and you can take from one bucket to put it in another. Trey, thank you.